Hey guys, what's up? It's Legacy Brick Studios coming in with a brand new video on an analysis of the 2014 LEGO Star Wars Winter Sets. In today's analysis, we're going to be going over the uh, Republic AV-7 Anti-Vehicle Cannon, the Droid Tri-Fighter, and the um, Coruscant Police Gunship. And these sets look awesome, and I'm sorry to say, but this is my last analysis video. I will not be going over the micro fighters. They pretty much speak for themselves. And uh, these sets are coming out in about a week, um, possibly. At least that's what um, Solid Brick Studios pretty much says about it. So we're going to be going over um, these three sets today. I'm going to be showing you a couple of... Uh, box pictures, minifigure pictures, um, some pictures we don't have the back of the box like we normally do, but that's okay, we don't really need it. But first of all, we're going to be going over the Republic AV-7 Anti-Vehicle Cannon. Um, here's the front of the box, and the picture of the set is amazing, it looks like a great set. I can't wait for this one, guys. Um, there's just a couple things that throw me off about the box art, but that's because it's just Don Christosis, which is in the Clone Wars movie. But I don't know why Plo Koon and his wolf pack troopers, especially in Phase 2 armor, are there. It just does not make sense. But I really do not care because this set looks pretty great. I don't really care if the minifigures don't match the set. Um, I'm still impressed with it. I'm impressed with the set. Impressed with the figures. Impressed with the whole grand scheme of things with it. Um, this set's probably going to be around $50, $60 knowing how Lego prices things. Um, but it looks like a pretty nice set, pretty big set as well, um, which the AV-7 cannon is pretty big. And think back, we got this uh, Clone Republic cannon set. It came with the uh, the commander droids. It came, it came with uh, an ARC trooper and an ARF trooper. Um, I believe it was called the ARF troopers. No, and uh, clone troopers versus... Commander droids, something like that. It was something R Trooper Battle Pack. I forget, but it was a good set. But I remember getting that set and thinking to myself, "Wow, this the set actually sucks. It's not what the AV7 cannon actually is. Why don't they give us a better one?" So they actually finally did, and now it looks amazing, and I'm so impressed by it. I really am. Um, if you look back in my earlier videos, um. One day I made a mock, and it was actually one of these AV-7 cannons. Um, it was pretty big. It was about as big as this one, actually. And mine had a lot of detail, but it, it would always fall apart and stuff. So this set's probably not going to be doing that. It's probably going to be very well put together by looking at how many Technic pieces and stuff go along with it. So if we take a look at the back of the box, we see the set... And uh, how everything, how all the legs move and the, the flick fire missile stuff, all that. So this set actually comes with a flick fire missile and a spring loaded missile. Now that is very, very interesting I think. Because um, we usually aren't seeing that. We're seeing like a spring loaded missile with the sets, no flick fire missiles. Um, some says we just have flick from missiles. Now we're getting the best of both worlds. <laughs> yeah. Um, which, I don't know. I really don't know what to say about the spring-loaded missile. Um, I know that the flick fire missile does not impress me whatsoever. And it shouldn't be in the spot where it is, which is right above on the cannon. Um, I don't know why the, uh, the, uh, Spring loaded missile is on the side of the cannon. Should be coming out of the cannon. That would be really cool. I don't know how they would pull that off, but it would be really cool. Um, but the legs move as well. Um, they they go the whole way horizontal. They go every other which way. Um, I'm sure there's some sort of technic mechanism pushing and pulling and being able to put them however you want all together and stuff. Uh, I'm sure that's going to be, um, you know, it's not going to be an, a great build. It's not going to be like a, a starship or the Death Star or anything like building that. I actually have the Death Star. That was the greatest set to build. But 
you know, it's a Technic set. It's not going to be the funnest build ever, but it's going to be a really cool set after you're done building it. Um, the top rotates as well, as you can see from the one picture. Um, you twist the knob and it rotates up or down. And then we get a view of the set from the top and a view of the set from the side as well. Um, so let's take an even better look at the set with an even better picture. And we get a look at the at the set's detail which the set does have a lot of detail I'm very surprised how much detail they actually put in this set um, I, I honestly think we're getting some new pieces is what it looks like for me um, maybe on the cannon part I have never seen those pieces before maybe it's just me um, but I've honestly never seen those pieces before um, the detail on the side of it on the lower side of it 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 looks like it's supposed to. Um, it does have those little flick fire missile type things that you would load into the cannon, probably. Um, that's what it's supposed to look like. But I'm still not sure why they put the flick fire missile where it's supposed to be. Um, I know that there's a piece on the actual cannon where there's a part that l does look like that, but it's definitely not a missile of any kind. Um, but I I like the fact that they put those like little red. Um, tubes in the back of it. It makes it look great. I I like that. Um, when I built my AV7 cannon myself, I put some of those tubes, well, some types of tubes and stuff in the back, and it looked great. But the legs look great as well. Um, that's why mine did not like to stay together because of the legs. And the legs on this one look exactly like the legs in the actual Clone Wars movie. And that surprised me greatly because. Um, they were so hard for me to build and like just trying to make it look right. I didn't really pay attention to structure and stuff like I am doing nowadays. Um, that was that was like a year ago, so yeah. But the set looks great. Minifigures, let's get to them. Um, the Droidica is not really a minifigure. We've seen it before. I have about um, over 10 of them, maybe 12 of them, because I got a lot of the uh, Clone Troopers versus Droidica's Battle Packs. It's not the greatest Droidica, believe me, by far, but um, it, it, it works for a Droidica. But Plo Koon, he's the same Plo Koon we've seen before, and this was supposed to be a different Plo Koon when we first got word of the set. It actually said, Plo Koon, new, new type of figure on the, I remember looking at the, the confidential box, new Plo Koon. I'm like, oh boy, what, what kind of new Plo Koon are we going to see? I thought it would be a nice, really cool updated version of it. Apparently not. Um, it's the same Plo Koon we've seen before. Pretty much is what it looks like to me. If it's new, it will very much surprise me because it looks the exact same. The Wolf Pack Troopers are the reason why you're going to get this set other than the fact that set is really cool um, overall. These two troopers are amazing. They look great in their Phase 2 armor from the Clone Wars and their designs on their helmet look awesome. The last time we got a Wolf Pack Trooper was with the Republic Frigate set and that was with Commander Wolf. Um, we didn't get a Plo Koon with that set though. But that set was like one of my favorite sets overall because it was just a fun build and it came with a lot of great figures. A lot of great new figures too. And the, I remember getting the Wolf Pack Trooper and it wasn't very special. It had great printing, but it wasn't really that special to me. These two guys look amazing, and I'm sure they're, they are going to be two of some of my favorite minifigures clone-wise that I have because it's the Wolf Pack, and the Wolf Pack is awesome. Okay, moving right along to the next set, we're going to go over the Droid Tri-Fighter. Um, the last set, the uh, police gunship set... Um, we're going to save the best for last. So we're going to go over the droid tri-fighter. And this is from episode 3 straight out of the Battle of Coruscant um, in space. But here's the box art. And it looks great, I think. Um, it's one of the best looking droid tri-fighters we had. Um, we have, like, how many of those that did LEGO make in the past? A lot. Maybe five, four, somewhere around there, maybe. Um, this might be the third. I don't know. I honestly don't know, guys. I'm just making stuff up right now. But I know it's either... I know they made at least three of them counting this one. I know that for a fact. But this set is not the first one you're going to want to buy. Um, Even though it does come with Palpatine and stuff, like, just, just let, me, let me finish. The set 
is if you're an episode 3 fan only. Okay, if you're not a Clone Wars fan, if you're not... I mean, I'm just saying this right now. This is an analysis video. It's not a review. But when I get to the review, I know I'm going to say this because I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. Yeah. Yeah, you know what song that is. Anyways, this set looks looks great. It it, it does. Um, It looks like the way a droid tri-fighter should look. There's a lot of stickers, though. That's my only thing that I would change about it. But... The way that the eyes are on it, the way that, um, what, what looks like you can fit a buzz droid actually in the set, that's a interesting idea. But, I think the overall shape and look of the set is very much appealing to me. We do not have a picture of the back of the box, so we're gonna go straight to the other, other picture of the set. Again, set looks awesome. I won't lie, has a lot of detail. Figures, we get a security droid, um, which is, which is not a new figure, um, it might be a little redesigned, but it's not new, it doesn't say new in the box. We get a regular battle droid, and then we get a buzz droid, which, I told you about the buzz droid before, way too big, it's big as Palpatine and the other two droids, why is that like that? Buzz droids are supposed to be very small droids that lock onto ships, not as big as people, I'm sorry Lego, but you're gonna have to scale that down some way or another. Um, it would have been great if they would have used, uh, little disc pieces instead of the big round pieces, or just made it overall smaller and didn't put as much detail into it. We would have been fine with that. We look at size, guys, not, not accuracy and look. Well, as best as your ability. I'm speaking to you, Lego. You're amazing at what you do. Just, just size down a little bit. We'd be a lot happier. Anyways, Palpatine. This figure does look great i'm gonna get to him in a second uh but i'm gonna just throw out there that this set does come with a one of those missile pieces one of the spring loaded missile pieces and uh i'm not quite sure how i feel about that yet but moving right along here's a better picture of palpatine um some guy posted it on the lego star wars wiki i don't know how he got his hands on this figure or got this picture of it but he's very lucky to be able to do that because the figure does look really really cool it's very palpatine-esque um the hair piece it does it is the same as the one we got with count dooku back in the duel on geonosis um the torso and leg printing does flow fairly well i'm not gonna lie um, there are some little line pieces that look like mishaps, but there's nothing wrong with that considering how detailed like it looks compared to how his um, his robe type thing looked in episode 3. The way the crackles are on it, it, it just looks great. It really does. Um, it really brings this figure to life. And I've been actually waiting for them to make this figure in this robe, whatever it is, um, outfit we'll say. Even when I saw episode 3, I'm like, they need to make that in Lego. And, uh, yeah. But the face printing looks exactly, exactly like Ian McDermott, um, who played Palpatine in episode 3. It looks exactly like it. And Lego has recently been doing this, and I am so thankful that how accurate they make the headpieces look on most of these figures. Um, they did that with Count Dooku, I remember, on the Duel and Geonosis again. Um, the face, it just looks like Count Dooku, and this one just looks like Palpatine. Um, if you're gonna get this set, this is gonna be the reason to get this set be for this figure. It's just the main point of the set. It's always the figures, pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. Our last set that we're gonna go over and, uh, discuss is the Coruscant Police Gunship. Now, here's the box art for the set. This set is going to be my favorite this round. Alright, I'm not going to lie. This is going to be um, one of one of the your most wanted set. Okay? For me, at least, as a Clone Wars fan. If you're a Clone Wars fan, this is the first set you're going to want to buy. I didn't review the set, I don't have the set, I'm just saying guys, from first looks, which is what these analysis videos are, first look, this is the set, okay? That might change, be sure to check out my review to see if that changes. Looking at this set is going to be one of my favorite sets. Now you're going to say, why? Why is this one of your favorite sets, Legacy Bricks? 
Well, there's a lot of reasons. First reason being, it reminds me of one of my favorite episodes of, of Star Wars Clone Wars. It really does. Um, I know it may sound a little, you know, off or whatever, but, like, going back to that episode, it was the last episode of the series, last, uh, arc for the series as a whole, not counting the bonus content we're going to be getting, but it wrapped up the season, it wrapped up the series, and it wrapped up Ahsoka's story. Um, this is a set you're going to want to get if you're one of those Clone Wars fans like me. Who who saw that episode and were like, wow. It was a payoff from seeing the movie the first day it came out to ending the series. Um, it was a long show. It was a great show. But this is a set you're going to want to get to remind you of that, I think. It comes with Anakin. It comes with Ahsoka. It comes with two shock troopers. Great looking. Um, the police gunship. It looks really cool. It does. But you're not going to use it for something as much as mocks, as much as whatever you're going to do. It might be something cool to play with if you're a kid. Um, I could see myself as a kid playing with this nonstop. Um, you could just use it as a cool gunship if you're playing with it. Uh, it it's a great set, I think. It really is. The look of it is great. It's really a great look. Um, it does come with two spring-loaded shooters up at the top of the little wing things that come out. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more features with the set. I don't have the back of the box to show you guys. So let's just jump to the other picture of the set that we have, the more detailed look at it. Um, so yeah, it looks to be like we're going to get three of these spring-loaded missiles to go into the two shooters there's two shooters keep that in mind um let's go over the set first the set looks awesome it looks like you you can pull the flaps out in the middle and you can sit a bunch of guys in there um obviously you're not going to sit as much people in it as the new gunship or anything i say new as in last year um soon to be last year not last year yet but it's december it's going to be but um of course you're not going to be able to fit as many as in the gunship uh, probably a fair amount. There's probably going to be some weapon racks somewhere in this set, I'm thinking. Like I said, guys, I have no idea. I haven't seen the back of the box or the set at all. But the front of the set, that little cockpit area, looks fantastic. I love that new piece we see right now. I think it's new. I may be wrong. Um, coming out in it, this, like, really cool shape. You can use that for a lot of stuff. Um, but it looks really cool. And the whole set looks like exactly like the police gunship there's nothing i'd change about the set there's really nothing at this point just looking at a picture of it like i said guys i don't have the set i would not be able to tell you um anakin he's got an update um he has new leg printing he might have the same torso printing from what i can see but his leg printing is fantastic i'm gonna say that because it looks like he has actual boots um because of how they're printing the brown and the black. and It just looks great. The Ahsoka is the same minifigure we got with the Embarn MHC set. Looks to be the same figure. Maybe they reprinted the face or something. Switched it up a bit. Knowing Lego they might have done something like that. But other than that I don't think the figure is any different. Might be the same exact figure. I don't know. Um, haven't gotten a really really good picture of that figure yet. But we also have the two shock troopers and uh i'm not sure if their heads are going to be like the clone troopers versus droidekin's battle packs those clone heads we've got with that set or if they're going to be more clone war set i think they're going to be more clone war set honestly same with the uh, wolf pack troopers that we talked about earlier but these figures are going to be one of the main reasons you're going to want to get this set also that's one of my reasons that i think the set's really awesome these figures look fantastic. You can use them in mocks. Um, if you're going to do a course on mock, you're, get, you're definitely going to want to get the set overall. Like I said before, you're not going to use it for many mocks, maybe here and there, if you're doing a course on mock or something. But other than that, you're not going to really want the set. Um, 
But the shock troopers, on the other hand, you're really going to want. They're really great figures. They're like the wolf pack troopers in my mind. They're really, really awesome. Um, you're, you're not going to use them off of Coruscant much. Maybe if you're doing a mock where Coruscant people come to the rescue and, you know, take people back to Coruscant or something. I don't know. Um, maybe they could accompany Commander Fox on a mission if you're doing a mock like that. I don't know. They're really awesome figures, and you could probably use them for a lot of stuff. They're very detailed. So, we're going to cut to another picture of those, just so we can get an even better picture at, at the printing, which just amazes me, guys. It really does. Um, the look of the helmet, the way it's just all printed, the leg printing, it just looks amazing. It looks very Episode three esque but it's still Clone Wars, and that's what that's what makes it matter. Um it looks great. There's nothing I change about the figure. Um from just looking at a picture of it. So guys, we're we're after 20 minutes. So I'm going to wrap up the video now. Thank you for watching. Uh I really appreciate the views, guys. It really does mean a lot to me that you you guys view my channel, you leave a like, that you leave a comment and that you you like it. You like what you're seeing. Um that really makes me happy. It really does, guys. Believe it or not, it it makes me smile on the inside and on the outside. So, by the way, I am, as I said before, I think I said it before, I am answering every single comment you guys leave if there's a little bar that lets me say reply. And that's pretty much everybody. I don't know why some people is not letting me reply. It's kind of weird. But if you leave a comment, I'm replying. Um, thanking you guys for leaving a nice comment, answering some of your questions if you have any. Um, like I said, I'm always, I'm always accepting your feedback, guys. I want to know what you guys want to see from me in general. And honestly, guys, I cannot wait to get these sets. Um, I will be reviewing most of them. Not Maybe not all of them. Maybe not all of them. There's a few that I'm thinking about not reviewing. Um, just to save some, save some of my money, save some of my uh, time to do some other things. Um, use that money, put it towards some ox. I will also be selling some sets coming up here pretty soon, maybe. I'm thinking about as soon as they're discontinued. Uh, not sure entirely what the sets are going to be, but I'll tell you when I know. So guys, until I talk to you next time, which shouldn't be that long. I'm sorry I haven't been posting videos. Um, but until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.